Hello there, I'm Joe Lowe from Maybe UK. Joined today by Callum Dix. Hello everybody. What we'd like to talk to you about now is a range of what we've described as elite floats. Now the clues in the name, to be honest with you, they are relatively specialist floats. More so finesse floats for when conditions are a little bit harder, when the weather's colder. But that's the time of year, obviously, you need the right tool for the job. Now, Callum has had a big input into the design of these floats, obviously with his broad experience, ex the 22 World Champion. He fishes numerous different types of venues for different types of fish in different conditions. So I'll pass you over to Callum, who will talk us through briefly the pros and cons of each one of these floats. Right, I'm going to start with uh, the Elite Series 1. Now these pencil floats are probably the most modern shape float that's been in the recent times. They're very, very popular. They were getting, they were getting more and more popular as we speak. And these floats have got many, many uses. This, it's got a one mil hollow bristle, which means visibility is very, very good. The light pass through it. Also, it's very, very sensitive. For fishing more for like finesse baits like Joe said, Bloodman Joker, maggots, casters, when, the wind, when in the winter, when it's not so, the fishing's not so good. They're also very good for fishing on the drop width because of the slim body, when you get a bite, there's less resistance to the float coming back out of the water. So you hit a higher percentage of bites. That, br that bristle is very, very important. Because, it, because it's one mil and it's hollow, you can see it and the visibility is very, very good, but still very sensitive, which is really, really important when you're fishing with the more finesse floats. Now that shape float is very, very popular and becoming more popular. And I can find more and more uses for it, especially when the water's moving. When they say you're fishing a lake that moves quite a bit or a river, when it's moving, strike back out, low, low resistance. So it's a very, very good and popular float. Leads me on to series two. Similar, similar bristle, similar wire stem. It's got one mil hollow, so it's very, very visible. The light can pass straight through it. Wire stem makes it very, very stable. But the shape's a little bit different. It's more of a rugby ball rounded shape. Now this float is for similar use. You can use it when using Bloodman Joker, maggots and everything. But when you want to hold on to the float just a little bit more, say you want to hold it a little bit more still when there's some, maybe some more bream or the odd big fish in your peg, they're, they're not so good for that because they try, to, they try to ride out the water a little bit. But these rounded body shapes, they stay still and they're very, very sturdy, very, very stable. So fishing slightly bigger baits so holding it a little bit more still, very, very good. Right, series three. Now it's a totally different float. It's got a carbon stem, same bristle again, one mil hollow, a slim diamond shaped body. Now this can be used for any type of it's finesse bait in the winter. It can be using maggots, joker, blood and anything like that. But the main use I use these for is for fishing with maggots and casters on the drop. I tend to fish with a very light float for the depth of water. Say this is a 0.4, I would use this up to six, seven foot of water with my, with my shot strung out. I use this for fishing on the drop. It's very, very sensitive and very, very visible, which is important for catching roach, skimmers, and anything like that, because it can be quite sensitive in the winter. So it's a really, really useful flow. If you've got the, some of them in your box, you won't go far wrong. You'll find many, many uses of them. Series four. Now, this is a slightly thicker bristle. I think this is about a 1.2 mil bristle. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, now this is, this is a little bit more sturdy, fishing slightly bigger baits and slightly bigger fish. I tend to use this float a lot more when the river, on rivers when it's moving quite quickly. The good thing is about this shape of body is that it doesn't ride out the water. It's very, very good if you want to hold on to the float in fast water. It's also, the slightly thicker bristle is perfect for when it's a little bit weedy or something or you want to put some line on the bottom it doesn't drag under so easily. Again, quite a thick wire stem so it's nice and stable. It's a really, really useful float and that, that would be my pick if I was fishing rivers or anywhere fast moving. Right, now the next two are a total different float altogether. And this is a Leap 5. And this is a flat float. It's very, very unusual. It's actually got two eyes on it. Two spring-loaded eyes, so they're very, very strong. A plastic bristle, and it's actually a flat float. Now what you can actually see is that the, the bristle to the stem is at a slightly different angle with a very, very slim body. Now this is for holding your bait dead, dead still mainly for rivers. I mean, you can use them on lakes and that if they're moving very, very quickly, but mainly for rivers. And what this actually does is you can hold on to it and it holds your bait dead still. When you're not allowed to use feeders or you're not allowed to put a lot of your weight of your float on the bottom, just like in World Championships rules, these are very, very important. 
These are very good for bream, carp, tench, anything where you want steel presentation. Now the Elite 6 is slightly a little bit different, but same sort of principles. It's actually got a carbon stem, a plastic bristle, with just one eye on it. Now this float is a happy medium. You use this when you don't want to hold it dead dead still, but you don't want to run it through as you would with the Series 4. As if we're in the middle, say when it's, it's flowing quite hard, the river or canal or anything like that, and you just want to put the float through at half pace. Now this float is perfect for it because you get little resistance coming off the body, but it's still a carbon stem, plastic bristle on a straight float. So it's, it's absolutely perfect and I can, I, it's only brand new out and I can find a lot of uses for that when you're fishing, especially abroad. You, you, use, you could use a float like that a lot. Right, now the Series 7, similar again, but it's slightly thicker bristle. Now it's a wire stem around the body. I use these a lot for worms and pellets. Pellet fishing in the summer and the winter, yeah. so when it's a little bit choppy or the, the, the water's moving a lot, the wire stems comes in very good, but it's slightly thicker bristle. So for, if you're fishing with worms and pellets, a slightly heavier bait now. In the winter again, that's the float for me. Very, very visible, there's a hollow bristle again. Very, very good. That's a really all-round float. Any bait in the winter you can use, you could use with that float. Very, very all-round float. Now, the Series 8 is similar again. It's a one mil hollow bristle, slightly thinner, a wire stem and a rounded body shape. Now, I would use that for maybe pellets, but a lot of bloodworm, maggots, casters in shallow water. It's quite a short, neat float. You know, it's, if you were to fish bloodworm and joker or maggots in shallow water on canals where you want like, a rounded body just to hold on to the float to keep it nicely presented, that would be the float for me. A lot, I would use that mostly on canals and shallow water and it's quite finesse fishing. Now the Series 9, now that's a really, really nice shape body, shape body with a carbon stem, thickish hollow bristle. The main use for that would be fishing with pellets in shallow water. Here at Larford, a lot of commercial fisheries in the winter, maybe in the summer when it's a little bit more difficult, you would use this. It's quite a sensitive bristle, carbon stem, so you don't get any loop overs, don't get any tangles, but a nice shape body for fishing with pellets in shallow water. Actually, this is the one gallon when we were testing these, when we were prior to developing the actual final models. These are the ones that we actually tested down here in the winter right. and dotted down. The sensitivity on those was absolutely superb for the shy biting fish that you're hoping to catch at that time of year. But they were the ones we actually used here at Lofton and that's like, and as sure. you said, in the relatively shallow water. I, I've got all these made up in my box for when I fish in the winter. I fish a venue where you fish to islands mm. and um, you use soft pellets, soft expander pellets and feed micro pellets and that's the best float for me. It's really sensitive because the fish are quite shy but you're in, yes. you're in shallow water and you're fishing quite quick sometimes, especially if you draw all right and um, the carbon stem, nice bristle, nice yeah. shape body, is perfect for that, a really nice float in the winter. Right, now the last one in the range, the Series 10, is very, very similar to Series 1. It's the same, same shape body, same again, low resistance, wire stem, but a slightly thicker bristle. Again, if you were fishing on a river where, you didn't, where you're using slightly heavier baits and you didn't want the float to drag under quite as easy as it would with a one mil hollow bristle, now you've got a 1.2 hollow bristle. It's also very, very good in the winter when you're fishing with pellets. You know, when they can be, when it's dead flat calm, when yes. the fish can be really shy sometimes, that, with the 1.2 hollow bristle, is slightly better for pellets, a heavier bait, and that can be the float for you. And again, less resistance on the lift, on the strike. Yeah, correct. So you will hit yeah. a better percentage of bites. Now, with that range of floats, there's every circumstance I ever fish in, there's a float for it. Excellent. So you can't go wrong. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I think we've all learned something. I certainly have. It's been a long time since I've fished a flat float, to be frank with you. But I'd like to thank Callum. Any more information relative to size ranges and anything else that you might need to know, again, available on the Maver website. Any questions, please feel free to email us and the information and contact details will be at the end of this clip. Thanks very much for watching.